Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be explaining everything you need to know about VLOOKUP. Now, when you are in college, chance of you working on Google Sheets or Excel is quite less. But as soon as you step out and enter the corporate world, you are expected to know this. Now, VLOOKUP is used when you are looking for a value in a column. Let me give you a real life example. Now, this is a Starbucks menu. Now when you want to look for a particular price of an item, let's say you want a cappuccino, size tall, what do you do? You go down the coffee section searching for cappuccino and then you go towards the section where the price of the tall size is mentioned. VLOOKUP does the same thing. The point is VLOOKUP is to scan the entire column until it finds the item without you doing it manually. Once it does find it, you can give it a command on which section detail you need it always finds the value towards the right. I hope this example makes it slightly more clear what VLOOKUP is and why is it used. So let's jump right into the sheets and learn how to use the formula. So we here we have two examples. In the first example, I have added less data. And in the second example, just to make it more clear, I have added a little bit more data as well. So let's jump on to the first example. Now, over here in this table, you have the product name, ID, origin, and the price. Now, I have already made a summary tab where I basically want an item and I want their price per kg, their product, and their origin. Now, there are multiple ways of doing it. One, you can either go manually and search for the item. So, now, for example, grapes, I can go grapes manually. I can search it as 5.56 and I can put 5.56 here. That is one way of doing it. Other way is you directly put a VLOOKUP formula. So in this case, what you do for VLOOKUP is you put it equals to VLOOKUP. Now first, you need to select the tab for which you're trying to find the value of. Now in this particular case, I'm trying to find the value of grapes. So I'll select grapes, comma. I'm trying to find the value of grapes within this entire table. So I'll select this entire table, comma, and then I want to know the price per kg. Now price per kg is the fourth column over here. So I'm gonna put four comma and then finally every single VLOOKUP formula ends with a zero because you want to know the accurate value. So you will put zero and you close the bracket. So once you do that, you get the value of grapes directly. Let me show you again. So for product ID, what I'm gonna do is equals to VLOOKUP. Once you select that, you want to select the tab for which you're trying to find the value of. So you want to select the grapes, comma. I'm trying to find the value of grapes in this entire table. So I'll do that, I'll select that. And I'm trying to find product ID. Now product ID is the second column. So I'll select two, comma, and you want to end the VLOOKUP with a zero because you want to find the accurate value. And you get the product ID as well. Now, if I change the grapes, to banana automatically the value comes to what banana is so banana is at id 003 and at 2.98 now something which you need to understand about we look up is if you're trying to copy and paste a formula the value also shifts now for example if i try to copy the product id formula over here and i paste it here it comes as an na and it is purely because if you see the table got shifted so what you want to do is you want to avoid that and to avoid that, you lock the cells. So in this case, A16 is the cell where you're trying to select the banana or the grapes. For locking any cell, you put a dollar sign. So you put a dollar sign at A16. Now A12, D12 is your entire table. Now this table remains the same because we are trying to find the value from the table itself. So I will lock the entire table. So you put a dollar sign over here, which is the starting point of the table. And you put a dollar sign at the ending point of the table. And once you do that, if you copy and paste it here, you see the value remains the same. Now the only thing which you need to change is origin is the third column here. So I want to change the column number two to column number three. And once I do that, automatically the origin comes. So if I shift this to grapes, automatically the value of grapes comes. Grapes is from India. ID 005 and 5.56 is the price per kg. Now let's go to the example number two. Now 
In example number two, I have mentioned multiple companies and their company's dividend percentage, announcement date, record date, and X dividend date is mentioned. Now, considering there are so many companies, doing something manually and finding the value will be time consuming. So what you want to do is you again want to use a VLOOKUP formula itself. Now, among all these companies which I have mentioned, I only want to know the value of these five companies because these are the companies which I am targeting at. And I want to know the dividend percentage of these companies. So let's put a VLOOKUP formula here. So you'll put equals to VLOOKUP. Now you want to select all the companies that you're trying to find the value of. So you'll select all these companies, comma. You're trying to find this value in this entire table, right? So you will select the entire table, comma. Announcement date is the fourth column here. It's the fourth column. So I will put four comma and you want to end we look up with zero so you put zero that's it so once you do that you get the announcement date for sbi and if i double click here it automatically copies the formula and goes down the column now what i want to do is i want to use the same formula because you're trying to find the value of the same companies in the same table in this entire same table so i want to use the same formula so i'm just going to copy paste the vlookup formulas here but before you copy it, you want to lock the cells. So this H7 to H11 is this entire table which is selected. So you want to put a dollar sign there because you're trying to lock it. Next HF, HA to HF is this entire table. So you want to lock that as well because you're trying to find the value for the same table. And once you do that, this entire cell, this entire table gets locked. Copy it and keep pasting it. Once you paste it, all you have to do is now record is on the fifth column. So you want to change the fourth column to fifth column that gives you the record date. Drop down. X dividend is the sixth column here. So I want to change 4 to 6, drop down, copy it and your dividend percentage is your third column here. So you put 4 to 3 because it's the third column and you do a drop down here. So that gives a summary of all these companies within this entire table using a simple VLOOKUP formula. So with that said you guys, I do hope you have understood how to use a VLOOKUP. If you did find the content valuable, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe as well. Also if you are interested in learning how to trade, I have mentioned few websites where you can learn how to paper trade for free or if you want to understand business case studies, I have created a video about recent partnership between Facebook and Reliance as well. You can check that out. So with that said. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you on the next video.